Hey, what's up guys? Just wanted to show you the progress and the pilot burner. And in this video, you'll see me calibrating the meter manifold so this thing can fire up in two stages rather than just one big roar for stability. Hey, what's up guys? Just want to do a quick little update on what I've been doing with this control box. This control box will run the ignition burner or the pilot burner. And I've got everything kind of laid out in a breadboard configuration here so we can take a look at it. And I want to explain a little bit about it. Um, just to kind of start with the front panel. This is a PID controller that's going to shut off the gas flow when the thermal couple here senses that we've had a flame out scenario. And that's a little bit better than a flame eye in a dusty environment because you don't got to worry about cleaning it. So this thing is set up where a person will just be able to walk up and press this button and the system will fire up. I have an emergency stop button on the way, but it's taking forever to get here. Now, one of the things I wanted to point out right away about this box, one of the things I wanted to talk about right away was this item right here, which is called an asymmetrical cycle timer. And this may be of great value to you, Fred, because this could be used to build an oxygen concentrator far easier than an Adreno programmable system. Um, with an asymmetrical cycle timer, we could have one solenoid fire every five seconds, and then another solenoid would fire for 300 milliseconds, something like that. So you could very easily run an on-off cycle with something like this to run a large oxygen concentrator. Of course, you would have this connected to a contactor like this one, but rather than running the, the voltage right through it. But nonetheless, this little thing right here is very cool. And you could very easily build an oxygen concentrator out of this. And you could fine tune the output just by turning these dials rather than having to go into a computer program and change the code. Not that that's any much different, but it might be more efficient one way or the other. But I just wanted to show you this because they're very neat little items. But uh, nonetheless, this is all the equipment that it takes to fire the spark and to fire the ignition gas system and the blower. Because when we first start the burner up, we want to start off at a low power phase. Give it 10 seconds to heat up. And then after 10 seconds, it, it would kick into second gear and go into high power mode. So I have this blower shut off for the first example because I want you to hear the gas flow go from one phase to the next. Right now, the gas flow has been shut off by the primary solenoid valve, by the primary gas flow solenoid valve because the thermal couple it's not registering a high enough temperature. But just to kind of showcase that system real quick, I'm going to artificially actuate the thermocouple flame eye with a blowtorch. And we should hear the gas kick on here as soon as the process value matches the set value. Here it goes. <laughs> And the gas is kicked on. And it was shut right back off on its own. And that's this solenoid right here, the primary solenoid. And that should kick off as soon as our temperature. And that is how the emergency shutoff works. But when we go to light this thing up, we have to hit the bypass button, which works like this. I didn't want you to have to sit there and hold it. It's kind of annoying. So you would just do that and off. This is a small metered amount of gas flow for the ignition stage and it's gonna last for 10 seconds. So here we go. 
You can hear the small gas flow. Also, the spark is now lit, and it will stay lit for 10 seconds with the small gas flow. Hear that? The second stage has kicked on. We're now running at full power. And that will last for the duration of time that we have set on the meter. In this specific instance, it's set at one minute. So let's. So here we go. We're gonna hear the blower kick on low for the first 10 seconds and then high. And then after the, the heat up system is complete, it will shut off and here we go. Then it's going to shut off and this countdown is over. And the system has shut itself down automatically. So when it comes to light this thing up, you're looking at a guy, he's going to walk up to the machine. Next step is to actually hook this thing up and then calibrate the meter valve, valve settings. So that's going to be a bit of a, a trial and error. I just wanted to show you guys where I am on this box, and I was really interested in showing this to Fred because I don't know where you guys are on your oxygen concentrator build, but I definitely recommend this over an Adreno or even a PLC because PLCs are very expensive, and there's really no need for it. This right here could outdo a PLC, in my opinion, for those. Nonetheless, this can do an oxygen concentrator cycle for sure. So I'm gonna shut up at this point and get this thing hooked up to some gas. This is essentially the main timer and it is set in such a way that when the ignition button is pressed, it just fires it up. Set it and forget it. And this will run for a set amount of time. I currently have it at like uh, 30 seconds right now. See here, I'm set at one minute, but I have it just over like 55%. That means I'm at about 35 seconds or so, somewhere in that area, something like that anyway. And with the cycle timer, you can see here, I'm set at 10 seconds, just under 10 seconds, because I wanted this one to trigger before this one so that I don't blow the fan up. This is connected to the valve. This relay is connected to the fan speed number one, and this is connected to fan speed number two. This right here is our valve number one, our solenoid valve number one, and the spark igniter. This right here is the bypass for this solenoid here. Hey, are you ready for some excitement, guys? This is test number two, and go. Wow! Whoa. exciting stuff. Whew, it stinks in here. This is not a place for cowards. I hate to say it. We'll be here all day with my scary ass if I keep acting afraid of this thing. All right, here goes, man. I'm gonna burn my chair up. I'm shooting quite the fireball. Guys, pretty impressive stuff here. 
I think the air is just a little too high still also. That sucker really got the roar on me. Here we go, here we go. What happened? It don't like this being closed. Every time I do that, nothing happens. Let's do the damn thing, man. Come on with it, let's go. That's a blown tank there, fellas. We're done for the day. I'm not gonna be able to get a tank today. But as you can see, she is working. And that's with a dead tank. So when we get some good pressure going here, this thing will be wound for sound, guys. Like I said, I'm gonna get a spark plug wire for this. That's the only thing I haven't got. And um, we'll get a better look at this thing as soon as I get a tank. This is just a preliminary testing of me calibrating the meter manifold.